persons of the week, the men and women serving their sacrifice in America's longest war. We started the week with our reporting from Afghanistan, flying over Kabul with the four-star general, Scott Miller, the top U.S. commander in Afghanistan. Yeah, you got a good day to fly in Kabul. This is a pivotal moment in America's longest war, and we witnessed American special forces training the Afghans to lead the fight. Colonel Darren Blatt. You certainly want to see the Afghans in the lead. You certainly want to see the Afghans doing all of all the training, doing all of the operations. And the Afghans are leading right here. Afghans are totally, totally leading. And while Washington debates any possible drawdown of U.S. troops, we met many of them who have sacrificed time with family, who have put their own lives in danger. Lieutenant Colonel Jill Moss from Countersport, Pennsylvania, her family back home. She is here. She speaks Dari with the Afghans. You're able to form better relationships with them. And in this culture, it just means a great deal. Captain Carly Costello from Marietta, Georgia. I remember, I remember 9-11. I, uh, I was in seventh grade when that happened. And my brother was in fifth grade. And that night that happened, uh, my brother always wanted to be a Marine. And uh, honestly, he's my inspiration for why I want to be out here. Is your brother serving now, too? He, he is, yes, sir. Um, Both so of you were inspired by that day. Both of us. Master Sergeant Kyle Leonard, who enlisted at 17, he thinks of his young family back home at Wrigley Field, where through the years he used his military ID to get in. My family is, is something that you really think on and have time to think on when you're, when you're on the side of the mountain. And with your military ID, what was the cost to get in? So it was 20 bucks. That was a couple <laughs> years ago, but it was $20. You buy a hot dog and a beer and watch a Cubs game. I hope you get that again soon. Yes, thank you. And we were there for the Sunday workout with the four-star general. Make a phone call home. Just tell them we also thank you as well. The U.S. commander thanking them all. Major Adam Schur of New York City. He was a cadet at West Point on 9-11. I hope that we're setting the conditions for a political settlement in the future. And First Lieutenant Natalia Kalaskio from Puerto Rico. She came to Afghanistan after Hurricane Maria. How's everybody doing back home? We're struggling, but we are doing okay. Um, here for them and to give a better future for my entire family. The troops don't know here if and when any drawdown of U.S. troops could happen. What they do know is they're here for their families, for their country, for as long as they're needed. And so we choose all of the men and women who serve their country in uniform. I'm David Miller.